Welcome to Block 20 report coverage of the Blockchain Global Expo. I'm your host Serena Grant, here with Regina from Kidcoin. The founder of Decentro Media, which is our company, used to be a high school math teacher. One reason he quit was because mainstream math education had zero focus on financial maths. This is one main reason why you have been selected as a top project at this conference. So congratulations. Can you please give viewers an outline of what Kidcoin is all about? Sure. Kidcoin is truly a gamified platform to give kids a hands-on experience to learn financial literacy. So we do that by giving them the opportunity to earn, learn, spend, save, invest, and give back within our ecosystem. And there's a massive amount of gamification and reinforcement of good spending habits and course correction in terms of not so good spending habits to get them on a better path. Great, fantastic. So can you describe the gaming that will be done to increase financial literacy? Is it designed by pro game designers? There will be different elements of gamification. So in terms of reinforcing, kind of showing kids their progress in terms of a leaderboard or just on their own kind of basis in that way. There will also be supplementary games that will, that will incorporate into the platform and um, ability to actually play different games that are available in our marketplace. So multiple, multifaceted in that way. Fantastic. So what is the motivation behind this project? Sure, it's a great question. Our founder, Armand Rusta, started a company 16 years ago around education savings plans. This company, Kidcoin, is an evolution of that company. So uh, originally, we wanted to help families to save money for education. Um, coming to the realization that people need help and support to manage and monitor their finances on a daily basis to do wealth creation and focus on the future in that way. Fantastic. Of course, Decentra would completely agree with you. It's almost like math education intentionally leaves out the most crucial math skill for citizens to understand finance. Would you say a population's financial woes can be directly linked to a lack of basic financial math skills? I would definitely agree with that. I think that financial literacy and finances is not a one-time conversation. It's a daily practice and it has to be reinforced in the home, at school, in life in general. And that's the way that our platform is approaching this in the sense of having a classroom application, making it easier to have a conversation between families and parents and children and their extended family in that way. So we really want to make sure that kids get that ingrained sense of financial literacy that when they are independent, that they can navigate things much more easily than not. Great, th thank you. So you're about half a year away from launching. What sort of support or partnerships do you have in the works to ensure this project succeeds and gains usership? Sure, it's a great question. Because we are supporting fiat and cryptocurrency, we're looking at both traditional enterprise solutions and also blockchain solutions to help us um, get the product to market. We're considering payment processing partnerships, banking partnerships, um, protocol partnerships, everything under the sun really to complete our seven modules are fair game in that way to kind of help us to customize and really deliver the best product possible. Fantastic. Is there anything else that you'd like to share with our viewers at this time? I really believe that children are digital natives and we need to give them a safe space to learn about cryptocurrency, blockchain in general. So that's what we're trying to do with our company. Thank you very much Regina for being with us here.